And Small Business Minister Brendan O'Connor says he's about kick-starting the engine room of the economy. Business is hoping the budget will do the same. I spoke to the minister earlier. Minister Brendan O'Connor, welcome to the programme. Thank you. Uh, now, the uh, feedback from small business in the marginal electorate of Greenway, where our reporter has just been, is, is all pretty negative, I've got to say. They're not really obsessed about a surplus. Um, and and they're, they're very much in line with the Census Small Business Survey, which suggests that 92% of small businesses doesn't, doesn't think that government policies are helping them. Is this budget going to turn that around? I think we've done some recent things already by uh, announcing the cut in the small business company tax rate. Uh, from 30 to 29 cents, uh, introducing the instant asset tax write-off for each asset that's purchased of up to six and a half thousand dollars, giving them immediate relief and cash flow solutions to some of the problems they have. And I think the uh, there's no doubt that the uh, uh, loss carry back initiative is going to provide a capacity for businesses to invest and innovate in a way they haven't been able to before. So I think there are. Uh, an array of things that will really provide for small businesses and create the environment in which they can not only survive but thrive. And that's really the key to this, creating that in those conditions. That's why returning the budget to surplus ticky is so important because it does create the environment for the Reserve Bank to make decisions if it chooses to do so. That demands, of course, that, that a lot of these measures are going to get through. And I think one of the comments that's come through today is that the Reserve Bank might be quite, uh, quite careful about uh, looking at any further cuts in interest rates if some of these uh, measures don't get through. Well, there's no doubt that uh, the Reserve Bank has a role to play, but we're, we're con you know, confident that the uh, budget will uh, pass the Parliament. Uh, these, unless, of course, uh, the opposition seeks to wreck the surplus, uh, to destroy uh, the surplus and therefore place our economy uh, in danger. Let me pick you up on a few of the uh, points that you made. You're reducing tax to 29 cents for small businesses, but they seem to be much more worried about the carbon tax. So it really is becoming an albatross. Even Christina Keneally is looking for you to make some changes there. Well, the carbon uh, pricing or the carbon tax is not one that's imposed on small businesses, as you know. But cost, not, they're, it, they're worried about costs yeah, being passed oh, sure. through electricity bills in Well, if you allow me, to, allow me to respond to that, uh, there's no impost. And what we didn't do, unlike the Howard government, is we didn't turn them into tax collectors. There will be um, possibly a 10% increase on what is a 2% cost for business. So for businesses, that's a 0.2% cost uh, as a result of the introduction of the carbon price, which will be compensated by their customers and clients being uh, paid through uh, tax cuts or, mm -hmm. or by pension increase payments. Your latest announcement, this carryback of, of losses against past profits, the general uh, response, I think, is not, not a bad concept, but too little, too late. Too little because only 110,000 of the over 2.7 million small businesses will have access to it. Well, firstly, it's for incorporated businesses. Mm. Uh, and they are in a si different situation than unincorporated businesses. But I think it's really fair to say that we need to ensure that we provide greater capacity to invest and innovate for business. This allows that by allowing to uh, effectively uh, carry the loss back of up to $1 million uh, to uh, pa taxes that have already been paid on profits earned previously in the preceding year. Yep. Uh, and from the 1st of July uh, the following year, you can, you can actually carry that loss back for two years. Well, Minister, I mentioned too little too late, that the too late part is that many of the, the small businesses that, that really need help actually have been making losses over the last year or two since the financial crisis hit, and they're the ones that are not going to be able to benefit from this initiative at all. Well, as I say, there is, uh, there is carry loss forward and carry loss back. That's now for the first time in this country. It's something that we, we uh, are very proud to be doing uh, for businesses. But on top of that, let's remember, tax, there's a company tax cut. There's the increase for unincorporated businesses uh, for, for the tax-free threshold from 6000 to $18,200. A big issue, of course, will be how some of these initiatives are, are funded, in particular, particularly the one that you've, you've uh, just announced, $700 million over the forward estimates. Some concern, and can you rule out for us, that uh, it will be funded by cuts or tightening of the R&D tax break? Because, of course, that's very important at the moment for manufacturers. 
Well, I'm not going to be uh, ruling in or out those things that may be announced, uh, indeed will be announced tomorrow. The budget will, will uh, uh, and the Treasurer will announce those things in the budget. Uh, yes, it is a $700 million spend, but what it will do is it will create uh, more money through investment and innovation. But and do, you think, the... do you think they're going to use that money, even if they, they do take advantage of this initiative? Do you think small businesses will use that money to invest? I mean, small businesses at the moment are very much interested in, in their cash flow. A, an array of op, uh, options, really, for them, Tiki. They can they can either invest in smaller assets, um, up to six and a half thousand dollars, and get uh, immediate 100% depreciation on those assets. Uh, they they will be benefiting from either the tax-free threshold uh, or the tax or the company tax cut or both, because quite often, of course, they employ themselves in their own business. Uh, so there are there are, I think. A, a, uh, an array of um, initiatives that are going to help small businesses uh, and will provide them the opportunity to take sensible risks. Minister, a very busy day for you today, I know. Brendan O'Connor, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you very much, Tiki.